getting shot down. Now he's crazy, which is awesome. <laughs> you find out also when you go crazy in, in uh, Gotham, you actually get a little sexier because the guy in the mirror can get it. <laughs> right? Yeah. So that talks to you to how how you because you had said that you were actually kind of you like the idea of that we <laughs> that we got such a such a build up chance, but this really gave you stuff to work with, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, John Stevens was really testing my patience last week. <laughs> no, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's so nice to have laid the groundwork for a genuinely good guy to become poisoned uh, by the city, um, by people misunderstanding him and, and mistreating him. I'm, I'm so happy that, that we spent time with Edward the way that we did. Um, because the kind of crap that happened um, after he killed someone and protected this woman that he loved, you know, he did a good thing for her and kind of for himself, but it's, it's horrible, it's horrible. I mean, he's, he's having to confront these two sides of himself. So it's, it's, uh, <coughs> I feel like the ricochet is something that I can very organically do. And now that I have this other character, this bad enigma that we call him, which to me is just his id versus the ego, I can kind of like, really get kind of like gnarly and nasty and dirty with this guy uh, in, a, in a way that, ba that like balances out the sweet little <laughs> and, 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 and I think this sweet enigma actually kind of adds up. Yeah! <laughs> yes! You know, no more cupcakes and bullets. Uh, no more silly riddle pants. Uh,